So Ted Gribble here again with 5G. And what I want to talk about today is flushing in cold weather situations. Just recently, I've had a number of questions come up about it. We were at the World Dairy Expo in Madison. A lot of people were asking questions. I just returned from Vermont where I visited two robotic milking dairies up there. They're all flush clean. They're both 300 cow. And it was interesting what they had to say. You can see on the screen behind me is one of them. Uh, in fact, this farm is just a couple of miles from the Canadian border there on, in Northern Vermont. And he's been in for about six and a half years. Um, and we were there looking at his system, talking to him about it. And you can see here's a picture I took of flushing going on in the barn while we were there. This is all a fully automated system. They flush every alley about every four to five hours, but then typically during the day, they come in and manually flush it even more often, just so that when they work in there, it's a little nicer. And you can see here, I'll show another picture. This is the results. That, so that's inside that barn, what it looked like when we were there. You can see how clean those alleys are. I, I talked to the dairyman quite a bit. Uh, what he liked the most about the flush was he said that it's virtually zero maintenance. He's had a few small things to the air system that supplies it, but nothing big, just a couple of little fittings that, that uh, had to get worked on, something like that. But the valves themselves, nothing. He also made the statement in the six and a half years he's been in operation, he's never lost a day flushing for cold. And then after that, we went and visited another farm there in Vermont, not too far from that Champney farm. This is a Sweets farm, and he's also milking 300 cows in a robot. Got some storages out back. Now he's been in for over 10 years and he made the same statement that he has never missed a day flushing. Uh, occasionally he said that uh, he's not flushed in the middle of the night during a severe winter storm, but they've always been able to flush every single day of the year. And again, pretty nice barn. They do have insulation in the roof. Now this one's natural vent though, uh, so it is a cold barn, but one of the things you have to keep in mind is on these dairies, any time that a flush system would be unable to work because of the cold, an alley scraper system would be shut down because of the cold. So those two track each other. And also, if it's so cold that alley scraper system couldn't work, neither could a vacuum truck. It gets shut down at roughly the same temperature. If your barn is getting that cold, then you're basically down to skid steer is your only option. However, in today's environment, the last uh, 10, 15 years, we're basically not designing barns that get that cold anymore. Used to, it was not uncommon to have these barns when it's 30 degrees out, minus 30, they might get down to minus 10 something like that, but we're just not designing barns that way because your whole management structure is so difficult. So, you know, basically uh, these barns are just not getting that cold and you can flush down below zero. We know that inside the barn, we flush down to 15 degrees, things like that. Same as you run an alley scraper, even below freezing. So the end result of what I'm saying is cold is not a reason to exclude flush. Any of the other systems have no advantage and actually flush has an advantage that you get it clean, that water drains away, and then it's less prone to seeing any freezing. So that's it. I just wanted to clarify that myth <laughs> that's out there that cold is an issue with flushing because it is not. Go ahead.
So yeah, what do you like about your flush system? I like the low maintenance. And the barn is clean, the cows clean, the feet are cleaner. It just and it it works year round, so it's not an issue in the winter for us. So I I chose it too because we had sand. Yes. To get the sand out of the barn, it was low maintenance and it was going to last a long time and not cost a fortune every year to rebuild a flesh and all that. So how long have you been flushing? We've been 10 years on it. 10 years? Yeah. Yeah. Any real maintenance? Or? Very low maintenance. Very low. You have a valve that needs some work, but it's all... And even if you have to work on it, it's clean because it's not all built up with cow manure. So it, it might take you 45 minutes to take a valve apart and you fix it and put it back together. So. It's very low maintenance. And how much flushing have you missed for color? Um, none, really. <laughs> we built the firing so it would handle the cold weather. And it's not an, I mean, we don't shut it off for the cold. It runs all the time. I mean, it doesn't run all the time. We don't take days off because it's too cold. <laughs> all right, well, yeah. thanks. I'm glad you like it. It's been good stuff for us. <laughs> <laughs> Highly recommended. <laughs> yeah, but no, we've been super happy. Okay. We have cold. 20 below it in the winter time, we still flush the barn. People used to joke when we first put it in, we were going to have ice skating, but we didn't. <laughs> well, good. <laughs>